Welcome back to Advent of Vim 2025. Today is day 20 and we're going to talk about jumps. So it turns out that Vim keeps a history of all the big movements you make. And you can navigate this history using jumps. After today, you will be able to navigate your code or your files, just like you do in your browser with your back and forward buttons. But before we get further into this, let's just give a special thanks to the YouTube channel members. The list is growing. YouTube super chatters. All the people who super chatted or are super thanked on YouTube. And of course, the GitHub sponsors. Thank you all so much. Hi, my name is Marco. Let's get started. So basically, if you make a big movement, it counts as a jump. But not everything is a jump. So navigating with J and K, for example, doesn't count as a jump. Also, scrolling doesn't count as a jump. Let's see what counts actually as a jump. Let's jump to the end of the file, for example, with capital G. This counts as a jump. Jumping to a special line counts as a jump. So let's do 17G, for example. This also counts as a jump. Or we might search for something like workshop or something. This counts as a jump. Uh, pressing N and uh, capital N. This also ca counts as a jump. And the jump list even works across files. So let's jump down to the end of this file here again. If I would move to the other file with GF, for example, I'm in this other file here and I can I can search for Santa or something like that and make, make another movement here or go to line 100 or something. All this counts as a jump. You can, of course, also have a look at the jump list you, you recorded here or been recorded here with this jumps command here. And you see a table with all the jumps that are recorded. So there's a jump number. Each jump has a line and a column number and the actual file where the jump happened. There's also this little indicator here where you are on the jump list. And to demonstrate this a little bit more, let's just use the commands to navigate this jump list. And then let's look at the list again. So control O takes you to an older entry in this jump list. So you can think of this as the browser back button. So control O goes back and go back a little bit further. And let's look at the jump list again with jumps. Now you see all the same jumps are still recorded inside here, but now this little greater than sign marks the entry where we're at currently. And then you see the jump number is relative to the current jump you're on. So you can use these relative numbers to make bigger jumps through the jump list. So let's say I wanted to go 10 jumps back here and I can see the exact entry here. I can press 10 and control O and now I'm exactly at this jump entry. So let's look at it again. You see we're here at the workshop inventory. So this works as expected. Of course, you can jump in the other direction as well. We can use control I for that. So control I goes down the jump list. So we move down from, from here somewhere to, to here. And this of course also takes account. So you can use 10 control I to jump 10 jumps further down in the jump list. To get a complete overview of what counts as a jump and what not, you can use the jump motions help for that. And here you see this list here of all the things that count as jumps. Oh, and there's also this line here that's quite interesting. So these two commands I didn't cover yet. With these commands, you can quickly jump to the jump in the jump list before and to the one after that and alternate between these two positions quite quickly. Let's try this out also. Let's go back here into this file and let's start with a single quote, single quote command here. So single quote, single quote, jumps me back up here. And if I press this again, I'm back down here again. So you can alternate between these two. And you can also use the back tick to do these. So double back tick to jump between those two. And if you watch the last video, these are actually just marks. So if I'm going into the marks list here, you can see this is actually the mark for the last jump you've been to. And because jumping to a mark also counts as a jump, you can just switch positions and alternate between the left position and the position you're at in the jump list quite easily. And of course, the back tick is then column specific also. So let's jump somewhere else here. Let's search for something central or something like that. And now if I press back tick again here, I'm back at the position down here. And if I do the back tick again, double back tick, I'm exactly at this position. With a double single quote, we just get to the beginning of the line here, basically. So a common use case for me to use the jump list actually is if I search something and just want to look at something quickly here, and then I just want to go back to where I've come from, I'm just using control O to go back to this Okay, this example wasn't that great because the jump wasn't that great. So let's let's go back here to the top of the file and jump again with, with the N. So N also counts as a jump to the next search result, for example. And then I would be way down here. And if I just wanted to go back to where I came from before the search, I can just use Control-O to go back there. So this is one of the common use cases I use this for. 
Or it's also useful if you jump to a definition and just want to go back to the place where you were before. So these are the two use cases for the jump list that I use most often, actually. So remember, control O goes back in the jump list to the older entries and control I goes in the other direction. Maybe if you're on a QWERTY keyboard, you can just remember that they are right beside each other on the keyboard. I don't really have a catchy thing in my head to remember control I as being going further into the list. Maybe you can say that. I just see it as the opposite of uh, control O and control O is go to an older place in the jump list for me. So that leaves me with reminding you to like and hype the video, subscribe to my channel, use one of the membership options, or use GitHub sponsors or Kofi to support me in these kinds of ways. Otherwise, I hope you'll be here back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow with another episode, of course. Thank you so much for watching. See you around and take care.